Let's make a black hole. For fun, that's basically what humanity almost did in 2008, and not in a sci-fi movie, but in Switzerland. When the Large Hadron Collider launched, some worried it might create a tiny black hole that could swallow the planet. Scientists said, nah, probably not. And hey, they were right, we're still here. But imagine building a machine and the instructions say, warning, may open portal to oblivion. And yet, we flipped the switch like it was nothing. But black holes, they're not the only disaster lurking in our labs. They call it gray goo, the nanobot apocalypse. Someone thought, hey, what if we build teeny tiny robots, molecule sized, that can replicate themselves? Sounds cool, right? But what if one of those robots messes up and starts replicating nonstop? It would eat roads, dogs, even you. Soon, the whole planet turns into a giant blob of robot goo. Scientists actually talk about this nightmare scenario. If microscopic machines freak you out, just wait, because the next threat isn't tiny at all. Our latest invention, the most powerful tool, weapon, or maybe even entity, artificial super intelligence. So we keep teaching AI to do things better, faster, smarter, even generate cursed cat memes. But what if we build an AI that's actually smart? Like smarter than every human combined. One day it start taking over jobs, driving cars, writing laws, and then without a word, freedom fades as the AI pulls all the strings. Just when you think tech is our biggest enemy, there's a disaster that's all about human error. Nuclear war by accident. Back in 1983, Soviet radar showed incoming U.S. missiles. One officer, Stanislav Petrov, was told to launch a full nuclear counterstrike, but he didn't. He thought, eh, probably just a glitch. And yep, he was right. Turns out, sunlight reflecting off clouds fooled the system. If someone else had been on duty that day, well, you probably wouldn't be watching this video we still have 12,000 nukes chilling on standby, ready to go. Twitter drama. And poof. Goodbye civilization. Hello Fallout IRL. But what if the deadliest threat is hurtling toward us from the stars? Something invisible and deadly. Mars Plague. Let's go full monkey brain for a second. We explore Mars, find some bacteria, and bring it back home. Next thing you know, humanity catches Martian Flu 9000 and we go extinct from an interplanetary cold. Sound ridiculous? NASA literally quarantines astronauts after space missions just in case. And let's be honest, if we found alien life, someone would lick it. The scariest part? These aren't even the crazy theories. They're the realistic ones. So next time someone says humans are the smartest species, just remember, we invented the Tide Pod Challenge. <laughs>